In these days in China, it's quite common for uh, Chinese officials, academics, to look at foreign direct investment as a percentage of uh, fixed asset investment or gross capital formation. And there, on an annual basis, it's only between about 1.5% and, and 3%. But what we say is we really have to measure the full economic impact of that cumulative investment, which total cumulative investment in China, foreign investment, has been about $1.8 trillion since China started to open. Mm -hmm. And when if you look at the impact of that investment and the foreign invested enterprises and their supply chains and then the consumer spending of all the employees that are involved, mm -hmm. we estimate that uh, foreign invested enterprises and foreign investment account for roughly one third of China's GDP and over a quarter of China's total employment. Mm -hmm. So what are the implications of this? I mean, versus what conventional wisdom has, has, has had us thinking uh, all, all, all along. What are, the, what are the implications of this? What are the implications for how China engages the world. And of course, we're in a state of flux uh, in, in, in world politics uh, right now. There's a certain uh, populism or insularity, which has all of a sudden popped up all over the world and seems to be uh, spreading like a contagion. Yes. In fact, one of the reasons why we uh, and the Heinrich Foundation, who sponsored the project, uh, got into this, and we've been looking at this uh, for 16 months now, is this sort of global pushback against globalization, uh, which we think, uh, whatever one's view, it has to be underpinned by data and analysis. Mm -hmm. And what we've tried to do is provide the tools and the techniques in order to, to do the underlying analysis. Mm -hmm. And in China itself, uh, as we, we know from, from press reports, a number of foreign multinationals are feel, feeling pushback. And it's becoming common in China for people to say, well, maybe we don't need the foreign investment that much. Mm -hmm. What our research shows is that if China really is pushing to, to grow the economy, and, right. and it's in fact struggling to find ways to grow the economy, mm -hmm. that foreign investment is a tried and proven mechanism for doing it.